Well, it certainly seems, Aisha, as though he is on his way out of the Department of Justice. The only thing that we're unclear about is the method of his departure. There are some news organizations here reporting that Rod Rosenstein has verbally resigned to the White House Chief of Staff, John Kelly. There are others saying that he's heading to the White House for a meeting with White House Chief of Staff, John Kelly, expecting to be fired, that he says that he won't resign and go quietly. So so either way, it seems that the writing, uh, one way or another, is on the wall for Rod Rosenstein. Why does all this matter? Because he is the Deputy Attorney General of the United States, and he is the man to whom Robert Mueller, the special prosecutor, digging into ties between President Donald Trump, his election campaign, and the Russians, reports. Uh, and uh, if Rod Rosenstein departs the Justice Department, uh, he has steadfastly insisted that Robert Mueller is not in engaged in what President Trump insists is a rigged witch hunt designed to bring the president down. If Mr. Rosenstein indeed departs the Justice Department, that will allow President Trump to replace him with a new deputy attorney general who may be more pliant and may be more critical of Robert Mueller and may seek to shut his inquiry down. So we're sailing into uh, very uncertain constitutional waters here, Aisha, and all of this comes just a few days after the New York Times published an article claiming that Rod Rosenstein had at one point offered to wear a wire to record his conversations with President Trump and also had offered to recruit members of the cabinet uh, in a bid to try and oust President Trump from power. Allegations that Rod Rosenstein steadfastly denied. But uh, at this point, it looks like he, if he's still in office, uh, he's very much dangling from a thread. So is this really a surprise that it's come to this or was it expected, Simon? Well, look, I mean, there's been tension in the relationship between the Deputy Attorney General and the President he serves from the get-go. Uh, remember that the reason why Rod Rosenstein oversees this inquiry into Russia ties between the President uh, and uh, his campaign uh, is because the Attorney General of the United States, Jeff Sessions, had to recuse himself because he lied to Congress over uh, his communications with the Russians during the election campaign. But if Rosenstein resigns or fires, uh, is fired, uh, it sets up very uncertain waters uh, ahead for Robert Mueller's probe.